So I go on vacation for three days. Three days. And I return to an entire HHN lineup announced. So let's talk about it. So, if you guys uh, haven't been hearing the news of Halloween Horror Nights lately, uh, at Midsummer Scream we had uh, two things announced. Monsteros, the monsters of Latin America. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I knew I was going to butcher that when I was going to make this video in the future. Uh, that was announced at Midsummer Scream, and we got a lot of concept art and a flow through of what that would look like at Midsummer Scream. The full panel is on our channel right now if you want to go see what that's going to look like. Uh, for Halloween Horror Nights. That was really cool. We also got, of course, the Universal Monsters uh, returning again for its uh, another fantastic year. Super stoked for this one featuring Phantom of the Opera, Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, The Invisible Man, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm super stoked for this one. Music by Slash again. But I come home and I see that there are three new announcements that, uh, well, let's just say Spec Maps have been calling them. Uh, and that is with the announcement of two, uh, the last two uh, houses of our lineup this year, Evil Dead Rise, which we all knew was Horror Hotel. We even made a video about that earlier this year. You can go check that out. Uh, go check that out. Yeah. I called that one. But we're super excited to see what Evil Dead Rise has to offer this year. I'm super stoked for this one. I enjoyed the movie a lot, and I cannot wait to see what they do with this maze. Super stoked for that one. Should be a lot of fun. And returning for 2023, Holidays in Hell. Uh, this one was a fun one. Figure did all the uh, music with John Murdy on this one, and you got to go through each holiday of the year, and it was a very twisted version of it, and I loved it. It was great, fantastic. I'm excited to see this one again. Uh, this one's going to be located where Killer Clowns was last year in that new uh, spot in the back lot right there. Um, so... I'm super stoked for that one to return. And the last thing that got teased at Midsummer Scream, if you guys watched the panel or you guys were there in person, uh, we got a little bug face concept art in the panel confirming today Terror Tram the Exterminators, a new original Terror Tram. Guys, I cannot tell you how stoked I am for this. This is uh, a whole new original concept. We haven't had an original concept in uh, such like a long time and now you can count the Hollywood Harry stuff yes that's original content but it's a repeating character this is something completely brand new this is going to be something that uh, is taking a, a scare zone that they had years ago and kind of making it a more expansive story I'm super stoked bugs terrify me for anyone that knows me so I'm gonna be super fucking scared at the same time but I'm so stoked because uh, I love the Terra Tram it's one of my favorite things to do every single year and to see that it's getting an original makeover for the Exterminators is super fucking dope. Now, along with these announcements, we had a lot of other things get announced as well, uh, such as, of course, um, some special food that you'll be able to enjoy only exclusively at Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, if you guys are fans of Stranger Things, they're going to bring Surfer Boy Pizza. If you guys don't know about the pizza place that was in Season 4, uh, that was really cool. So to get some pizza from Surfer Boy Pizza would be really cool. Uh, with a variety of pizza flavors, that is. Uh, Scoops Ahoy will be returning for some tasty ice cream creations. Of course, we love ourselves some Scoops Ahoy, man. And a new 80s-themed uh, stellar bar with mixed cocktails. That is all for Stranger Things. I will assume that's going to all be in the lower lot as well, where um, the weekend bar was at and all that stuff from last year. Uh, if you go to Hollywood and dine up top, which is the uh, one of the first restaurants you hit when, right when you walk in, uh, there is going to be uh, a Chucky-themed barbecue featuring brisket and Nashville popcorn chicken sandwiches, pulled pork, macaroni and cheese, funnel cake, and themed drinks all around Chucky. Uh, they're really going all in with the Chucky this year. Obviously, he's got his own house. That was the very first house announced for this season back uh, last Halloween, uh, which was probably the earliest we've ever gotten an Maze announcement ever. Uh, so, yeah. And then you have the uh, Carl Main patio, which will feature Peacock's Halloween Horror Bar with themed cocktails from The Purge and Chucky and photo opportunities with scare actors. Now, John Murdy did say there was going to be some photo opportunities with scare actors this year, specifically with uh, Lyarona and The Bride of Frankenstein. So I'm super stoked to see uh, if any of them will show up at the bar. That should be really cool. That, that 
that sounds really cool. And of course, if you guys have been to the um, event in the past, you guys know that the Parisian Courtyard transforms itself into the Dia de los Muertos, featuring some Latin folklore themed cocktails, uh, a taco stand, and a margarita bar. It, it looks like it's going to be an amazing year this year. Uh, I'm super stoked. I know that uh, a lot of us here on the Night's Bar are super stoked this year for, uh, for a lot of reasons. There's such a stacked lineup this year. Uh, top of my head, Stranger Things 4 and Last of Us are like my two hyped and then Universal Monsters, of course. But I love that aspect of the thing. So I'm super stoked to uh, go to this event this year. Um, we love Halloween Horror Nights. It was the foundation of our channel. So it is necessary that we go every single year and we might be doing something a little extra special with Halloween Horror Nights this year something we've never done on the channel before and if we can get it together and, 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 and pull this off I hope you guys enjoy what we, what we pull off with this one it's something we've never done on the channel something we've never done period and we're super excited to try it um, me and Hayes will be doing that and once we get confirmation that it's a, it's a go uh, we will let you guys know immediately what we'll be doing with our uh, one of our Halloween Horror Nights trips because I think we're doing two this year um but with that being said, uh, we got Halloween Horror Nights Week. Now that everything's been announced, we're going to be in, uh, doing Halloween Horror Nights Week really soon, uh, where we go through our, our hype lists, where we go through what you need to know, um, do some histories of and, and whatnot, and just a bunch of Halloween Horror Nights themed videos all week long, Monday through Friday. Uh, that will be announced very soon. We, we'll probably get in there working on that very soon because Halloween Horror Nights is going to be opening uh, relatively early this season. So Sammy and I will get that. We have the Not Scary Farm announcement event coming up we are super stoked we got tickets for that I, I i heard tickets sold out in like 14 minutes and i'm blown away by that so we are super stoked that we're going to be attending that we're going to do our best to cover that for you guys as well um and then we're going to be doing our knots week like we usually do in the past uh we'll, we'll do a bunch of getting knots themed videos so stay tuned we got a lot of content flowing through the channel really soon um and the last thing i want to say in this video to close it out is uh, we just hit 3,000 subscribers on this channel um now, if you would have asked me in 2017 if that was ever going to be possible, I probably would have laughed at myself and said, no, it's not. Um, it's been a long journey, a lot of resets, a lot of uh, uh, restarts and whatnot. But when we launched Nights of Horror and we, um, we designed this platform to ultimately be something where you can get away for a little bit, uh, no matter how bad your day is, no matter how good your day is, um, We'll be those guys that hopefully we can get your minds off things. Uh, you can geek out with Hop with us. Uh, we love reading your guys' comments and replying. A lot of you guys DM us a lot, and we love uh, reading from what you guys um, will tell us. I mean, there's some truly touching things that uh, I've, I've heard doing Nights of Horror uh, and, and the impact that I've made on people. And, and that really is the reason why I do it. It's because I want someone to to fill themselves. I want you to feel, no matter who you are, no matter how you identify yourself, I want you to feel you. I want you to come and, and know that this is a platform that you can be you. Um, and in the end of the day, we just love making content. We're just a bunch of horror nerds, fans, uh, haunt fans, and, and we just love going out, doing things, and, and capturing what we can on camera. And you guys have stuck by us now six years it is also going to be our sixth uh, birthday this next week. So six years, 3,000 subscribers. Um, I'm very, very, very humble and grateful for all of it. Um, I could have done none of this without you guys tuning in every single week, watching us uh, babble about something haunt-related, horror-related. But you guys have uh, came. You've listened to the podcast. You guys uh, continue to support the content. Uh follow us and engage with us on social media uh come up and say hi to us that's always the most uh special thing ever even though we may come off as very awkward because uh some of us are anti-social and uh, you know but I, I am starting to warm up to it i love meeting you guys i love talking with you guys uh and it's been just truly an honor to uh entertain you guys so uh here's to three thousand more uh and we got a lot of work to do we're gonna have a great haunt season and uh, again, none of this is possible without each and every one of you. So I appreciate all of you for uh, the constant support. And uh, let's keep going. Let's keep climbing that hill. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Love each and every one of you. I'll see you guys very soon.